हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू क्रिएटिव मेडिसिन इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल लर्न अबाउट ergot derivatives in ergot derivatives they are derived from the fungus called has claviceps purpura and this claviceps purpura will grow on ray millets and other grains so these ergot alkaloids will cause dry gangrene of the hands and the feet and these becomes black or as if they were burnt this dry gangrene which appears black or as if it is burnt is the prominent feature then this is also associated with miscarriages in women and cattle who has taken this fungus who has ingested this fungus accidentally convulsions are also dis uh, seen with this uh, uh, drug this is an alkaloid and this affects alpha receptors dopaminergic receptors and 5 ht receptors and the toxicity of ergot alkaloids is called as ergotism in ergotism the patient presents with dementia florid hallucinations are seen with prolonged vasospasm the patient presents with dementia florid hallucinations and prolonged vasospasm here the patient will also result in gangrene may be seen especially with erythromelalgia gangrene is seen with erythromelalgia or there can be stimulation of uterine smooth muscles is also seen so because of this uterine smooth muscle contraction this can result in abortion if the woman is pregnant in medieval time ergot poisoning is called as saint antony's fire side effects of ergot alkaloids is it causes ergotism in ergotism obviously there is hallucinations burning of extremities hallucinations because of prolonged vasospasm there is digital vasospasm is seen which can result in gangrene the patient can also have hypotension and nausea and one more important side effect is it can cause retroperitoneal fibrosis mainly and it activates the uh, smooth muscles uterine smooth muscles so it can be said to have an action of oxytocic type oxytocin type of action so thus it is contraindicated so because it causes pregnant it causes abortion so this is contraindicated in pregnancy ergot alkaloids are only alpha blockers thus they cause are the only alpha blockers which cause vasoconstriction now ergot alkaloids are derivatives of ergot alkaloids can be of two types one we have natural ergot alkaloids second we have semi synthetic ergot alkaloids natural ergot alkaloids are uh, amine alkaloids and they are uh, amino acid alkaloids amine alkaloids include ergotamine is the amine alkal sorry ergometrin amine alkaloids are mainly ergometrin is an amine alkaloid which is an oxytocic type whereas amino acid alkaloids are ergotamine is an amino acid alkaloid with ergotoxin is also an amino acid alkaloid this ergotamine or ergotoxin is a vasoconstrictor with alpha blockers then we have semi synthetic type of ergot derivatives the semi synthetic type of ergot derivatives include dihydroergotamine or dihydroergotoxin this dihydroergotamine dihydroergotoxin these are actually anti adrenergic drugs with cerebroactive so because they are cerebroactive they are used in acute attack of migraine hydrogenation will increase the alpha blocking property so these are anti adrenergic and cerebroactive so as a result they can be used in migraine that to acute attack of migraine then we have semi synthetic one more which is bromocriptin bromocriptin is an ergot derivative and it is a dopamine agonist and it is used in parkinsonism then we have methysergide methysergide is mainly an anti have serotonergic agent then we have hydrogenation 
of ergot alkaloids this will decrease the vasoconstrictor activity and increasing the alpha blocking property because it increases the hydrogenation increases alpha blocking property so it is anti adrenergic and it is cerebroactive and thus because it is anti adrenergic and blocking the vasoconstriction decreasing the vasoconstriction it can be used in active attack of acute attack of migraine Thank you and thank you for watching.